bitching posts, motherfucker. What? Okay, if you've been watching any of these bitching posts from the beginning, if you've seen the very first one that I did, it had to do with car trouble, car related bitching. Car trouble plagues me and I don't know why, but it seems to always surround me in like a dark cloud. Car trouble, car trouble. Like there's always, I always have some kind of sad adventure with car trouble. I always have to deal with car trouble in some kind of way all the time. I don't I don't know why. <sighs> I don't know why. Okay, so yeah, this is about batteries going bad, okay? Car batteries. Car batteries and the lack of common sense. Okay, that's what this is. It's too hot too hot in the air. Okay, okay, so I get I get home from work and I get a call that my brother needs to go return. He's gonna he's gonna go check on his car battery because it died. And this is the second one that we get for this car. And it just seems kind of odd. It seems kind of uh, too coincidental that they are both Defected battery. So I understand like we figured the first time. Oh, it's a defective battery. It's no good But uh, it happened again. It was just like completely died. So we <laughs> I've become the family uber driver. There's no other cars that we can drive in right now as of the moment. So So I'm like, okay, I just got home. I'll chill for a little bit I tend to you know the things I have to do I run over there, pick him up, he comes with his battery, we go to get it checked out just to see if it's a bad battery or can it be charged again because for some reason it's dead. <laughs> so the girl's like, the girl's like, oh I hope it doesn't have to be charged. I hope it doesn't have to because it's almost, you know, it's like, uh, it's 5.30, we close at 6, you know, it takes an hour. It, it won't be ready, so I uh, we'll we'll check it. You know, why don't you go out there and and tell the guys to do it? So we go out there, and uh, my brother, is being patient, is being cool, being calm, like always. And I'm a little bit uh, agitated because we had to do her job. It's like she didn't want to go and take the battery herself. We had to take the battery, and I hope we can flag down one of the workers. Maybe they can, you know, check it for us, you know, but they're really not going to pay attention to us. They're too busy playing in the cars, detailing a car, they're jumping up and down, they're honking horns, they're doing the stupid stuff they always do. Like the, like the time I took my car to get an oil change. And instead of doing that, they were too busy jumping inside the car, honking the horn, opening the doors, jumping in, jumping out. Like, I don't know what they were trying in Walmart. Yeah. So anyway, we finally get the hold of, of some guy, and uh, I see I see the guy who's standing right there. I'm like, ask that guy. He's like, Why are you waiting on these bozos? Ask that guy. Ask him. So he asks him, hey, can you check on you know this battery and see if it's any good? It's dead. I don't know what's wrong with it. So he puts it on the machine, leaves it there for a while. We're standing there. It's doing its thing. And he says, okay, well, it's just going to be here for a while. It's going to be uh, checking it and everything. And when it's done, it will print out diagnostic check of it. And it will tell us what's wrong, if it's, if it's a good battery. If it's not, if it's good, we can charge it. So we wait. So he's like, just, just be, you know, just wait. It'll come out in a little while. The, the print will come out. Just, just wait for it. Finally, it comes out. Looks at the print. He's like, okay, well, it says that it's drained or whatever. It has no power. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to charge it. It's going to take an hour. What you should do is come back before 7. Because at 7 o'clock, we close this place and we get rid of everything that's here. You won't be able to get it. Blah, blah, blah. He goes through all this bullshit rules and regulations about how they put things outside when it's already closing time. So we leave, we go to GameStop, like, okay, we're there for a while. About 30 minutes have passed. We leave, <laughs> we go back. We still got 30 minutes, 
right? He, apparently he doesn't want to go into Walmart and walk around. I don't know where else he wanted to go because he really didn't say, oh, let's go somewhere else. But, but he did say that I sucked because I parked the car and he's like, you are like the worst person ever. I'm like, why? He's like, oh, you're just gonna park here for 30 minutes. I'm like, well, I guess, unless you wanna go somewhere and do something. If we go all the way home, we're gonna have to come all the way back. Oh, what, what a hassle that is for me to do. I just was assuming he didn't wanna go. If you wanna go home, I'll go home. No, he didn't, he didn't mention that. So I'm like, well, we'll just chill here. Let's sit here. Uh, let's just be cool. 30 minutes will pass like that before you know it, then we can go inside. So we're sitting out there. It's fucking hot. <sighs> this time of year is just fucking hot. It doesn't matter if it's daytime, if it's nighttime. It's, it's super windy right now in my town. So the, the wind is a big factor. It's sometimes in the 20, 25 mile per hour, maybe 35 gusting. It's, it's just fucking strong wind and it's hot wind. I don't have an air condition. My air condition's not working. So we, I'm sitting there, got the windows rolled down, listening to the radio. 30 minutes pass. And he's like, okay, well, I guess we, I guess we better go inside. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I get out of the car too. I start to roll up the windows and stuff. He rolls up his side. He rolls up the passenger window. And he goes, no, no, you stay here. You stay here, you wait. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm thinking, well, he's just going to get off, go get the battery, come right back. Okay, you know, why? All right, cool. I'll stay here. <sighs> so I'm sitting there and I'm waiting. And five minutes pass, 10 minutes pass, 15 minutes pass. I'm listening to the radio. I'm hearing Alice Cooper's radio show that he's got on 104 classic rock or whatever I'm hearing that meanwhile there's a couple of there's a couple of Jamaican dudes behind me and they're just yapping away in a car parked behind where my car is and they're just talking about their life what they did today what they're gonna do later like tell me about your work and you know that I don't know they're just talking amongst themselves I'm having trouble listening to Alice Cooper I'm looking out the window, I'm trying to like look at the clouds that pass because they're passing so fast right now since it's super windy. And I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation. I'm stuck out there. We have a purse snatcher on the loose right now in my city. He's, he's just like pulling up to random cars and he sees a woman alone. He uh, sticks a knife at him and takes her purse. So I'm, I'm here thinking of this. And I'm like on the lookout for, you know, is this guy going to come in this, in this truck I keep hearing about. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and I'm not very comfortable just staying there. But I'm chilling, because what else can I do? I don't have common sense. 20 minutes pass, 30 minutes have already passed. I can't take it anymore. I'm like, I think, I think I've had the radio on for too long. The radio's been on for a whole fucking hour. All I need is for my battery to die because I'm sitting here waiting. And what's taking so long? I keep looking, I keep looking. Is, is my brother gonna come out? Is he coming out? Is he is it done? Did they, are they still charging it? Where, any random person that comes out, I keep thinking it's him. And I keep, I keep looking, I keep looking and it's not him, it's not him. And I'm just, at this point, I'm just fed up. I'm like, okay, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. I can't concentrate. I can't relax. There's, there's chatter behind me. And, and the fucking wind is too strong. And I'm on the lookout for a potential uh, purse snatcher dude. Like, this is just not working for me. So I finally get out of the car, lock it up, roll up the windows. Oh, yeah, he had the window rolled up. I had to roll it down. The motherfucker didn't let me have any airflow since I don't got no other way to breathe. <laughs> oh god. So okay, so yeah, I finally get out of the car. I say like, enough's enough. I gotta go check. It's been 30 minutes. I've sat here for a full hour just just waiting and being patient and chilling and not knowing better, not having the common sense to get out of the fucking car after five, ten minutes have passed and say, hey, what the fuck, what's going on? What's taking so long, you know? 
so I could probably sit inside where it's nice and cool, where the air condition is. Maybe go to the electronic section, the toy section. I don't know, I don't mind looking, but I would have been inside where the air was cool, but no, I'm stuck outside. So it's like I'm walking, I'm getting closer to the door, and when you know it, the door opens right when I get there. I'm about to open it. It opens, out pops my brother, and he's got the battery in his hand. He's like, okay, let's go, it's time to go. I'm like, you motherfucker, really? You let me sit there for 30 minutes, knowing I had already sat there for 30 minutes with you. I sat there for a whole hour. He's like, oh, well, you know, I, I wondered why you didn't want to come in. I'm like, you motherfucker. He don't have a phone. He can't call me. So it's not, we, we're, we're like, um, we are retro people. We don't, we don't live in the here and now. I'm the only one in the family that has a cell phone, and it's not even a real one. It's a Virgin Mobile. It's, it's, a, it's one of those flip phones. And it's an old style, too. I have to add money every three months to keep it going, to keep the same phone number. <sighs> so yeah, this is, this is what he does to me. And w apparently it was, what was wrong with the battery was they weren't charging it. He was waiting, he said all kinds of people showed up, there was fights, there was altercations. They were waiting for the manager, he didn't want to show up, like maybe 20 people came up to the checkout counter and were, you know, all these things were happening and no one was going to get him a battery replacement because apparently that battery was bad too and it wouldn't hold a charge. And that just tells me something else is wrong, man. Something else is wrong. It's not, <laughs> batteries are not, I'm, who has that kind of luck that you have one battery and it dies and then it's just no good, it's considered defected, then you get another and that one's also defected. Now I've heard that uh, Walmart doesn't have good batteries. And I know maybe that's the case, but I'm, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't really know.